Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about something very interesting. We're going to be talking about future Flash and how he's differed from the comics to the TV show. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So this is a new video series we're going to be trying out. It's to do with storylines that never went ahead on the TV show, comparing it to the comics, and breaking it all down and with the recent talk of future flash because recently on the flash tv show in season seven abracadabra was talking about how barry becomes obsessed with the future and so that's led to lots of theories going around online about future flash obviously the last time we had the future flash stuff was really in season three so we're going to delve into what happened in season three and how they can bring back future flash in season seven or in future seasons but also what didn't go ahead in the avatar storyline which heavily took from the future Flash storyline in the New 52. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So in the TV show in Season 3, it was revealed that Savitar was a version of Barry from the future, who had been abandoned by Team Flash, who had been shunned by Team Flash. That is the exact words that Savitar used. You guys can go back and check some old clips of Savitar if you want to recap yourself on that. But Savitar felt like he wasn't supposed to be alive, he felt like he had no purpose. So let's go over to the comics and talk about the Out of Time storyline. So this is the storyline in the New 52 where you get to see Future Flash. So we're not talking about Savitar specifically here, however we're talking about Future Flash from the comics, which majorly influenced the Savitar storyline in Season 3 of The Flash. Okay, so Future Flash is a future version of Barry, 20 years in the future. He blames himself for the death of Wally West, and he is determined to make it right. This sets off an insane chain of events. It all kicks off with him beginning to kill his enemies, there is a specific moment where he kills Gorilla Grodd, and so doing all of this by time traveling back in the past and killing all of his enemies and to traveling where Wally is alive will allow him to gain enough speed to time travel back in time to actually be able to fix his mistake and save Wally West so he is broken by Wally's death. That is kind of the general gist of how the storyline starts off. Obviously I highly recommend you guys read it because I am recapping on the kind of general gist of the story and I'm not hitting every single point because it was a major story arc in the New 52. Okay, so back to Future Flash. He's able to time travel back in time and this is where he meets present Barry who catches on to all of the killings. And in the present, this version of Barry realizes that only a speedster can do what he has been seeing. And soon enough, he finds out that future Flash is in fact himself. And so he unmasks himself just like Savitar in the way that it is a version of Barry from the future who is completely broken. That's exactly the same as Savitar. And so in the comics, present Barry has to stop him. But unlike Savitar in the TV show, he has concerns because he knows that if he does this and he stops him, Wally will die. He knows that for a fact and that's what kind of mainly differentiates what happened in season 3 of The Flash because it wasn't anything to do with Wally dying, it was to do with Iris dying instead and it was a different circumstance because Wally didn't die at the hands of future Flash, whereas in the TV show, Iris did die at the hands of Savitar. And so present Barry decides to try and get future Flash to stop, however, he's gone insane and he doesn't stop. And so in a shocking turn of events, Wally steps in and kills future Barry. So he wasn't expecting that, and he's actually thankful that he does this to him because in that way, he saved the people that he cares about the most, that being Wally and Iris. And I forgot to mention in the future, Iris is actually paralyzed. So that is another motivation of him going back to the past. And so everything is better, but this version of Future Flash is dead. So as you can see, Savitar's story in season three is very different, but they took the kind of basis for Future Flash, that being him being a version of Barry from the future who is broken and he comes back to the past. That is the basis of the out of time storyline. So they took that and they changed the story to be more in line with the show's past, touching on the life of an existing and very much so alive time remnant, which out of time doesn't really touch upon time remnant. So this is something that relates more to the show. And basically, Savitar's origin in the TV show exists because of specific past events. That's why he exists. Like Iris dying is a key point in his past or in his future, however you want to interpret it. And so in 2020, Barry is supposed to fight Savitar and at one point he creates a bunch of time remnants 
and most of them are killed when fighting this avatar, but one survives, creating a scarred version of Barry, who is shunned by Team Flash and eventually becomes Avatar, so it's destiny. And so after this, he went crazy, he time traveled back into the past, spread around all these myths and rumors about him being the first ever speedster and being someone from like the dawn of time, and that's at the point where he gets the Philosopher's Stone, and supposedly his speed becomes even more powerful, like he is that fast because he has that connection to the Philosopher's Stone, he has his cult and everything, which he does in the comics. So that's his rough origin in the show and how they explained him. However, let's talk about actual Future Flash and if he could actually show up in the show. So the Future Flash I've been talking about rather than Savitar. So they could do actual Future Flash if Wally dies because of something that Barry wasn't able to stop. Therefore, Wally's dead. However, that doesn't have to be Wally, and I think it's kind of unlikely that we're going to be seeing much of Wally, so this kind of puts into question if we'll ever see this storyline. However, it could totally be someone else, and maybe it plays out, and this could be Bart Allen, maybe that's part of his role of what they want to do. However, Barry is said to be obsessed with the future in the TV show very soon. This was teased by Abracadabra a couple of episodes back, and so will they do a reversal? whereby something happens in the future that makes Barry obsessed with the future. Kind of like finding out about Iris's death in season 3, I think they could pull off something of that kind and make it something else, something new, rather than just Iris like it was in season 3, and so that's obviously just a theory right now. So I think there is definitely a possibility that they could pull off a storyline similar to Future Flash's storyline, where it's more related to the events of the past or the events of the future, that's where I'm talking about the reversal here, and it potentially not being about Wally, but maybe about Bart or someone else from the TV show, which causes this version of Barry to go crazy and make its way back to the past. So that's obviously just a theory, but let's head back to the comics. However, Savitar was never from the future in the comics, so we're going back to the season three stuff right now, talking about Savitar and his origin, and how he differed in the TV show from the comics. Okay, so that came from combining the Out of Time New 52 storyline with the original Savitar character. So Savitar in the comics had a cult, so just like he did in the TV show, and he called himself the God of Motion. I believe Jay called him that in the TV show. However, Savitar in the show actually refers to himself as the god of speed, so that's a little difference right there. And he also wasn't Barry Allen in the comics, so that's where they differed and they've gone more towards the out of time storyline to do with future Flash. And so in the comics, Savitar sorts out Johnny Quick. Now we're getting into his origin right here and kind of what went on with him. And he went after Johnny Quick because he was the speedster of that time and basically that kind of led towards him getting trapped inside the speed force and he escapes decades later only to find out that his cult has grown stronger, and so in the TV show they only show various members of the cult, but the cult does exist in the TV show, so they kind of followed that storyline in a little bit, but they made the cult bit a little bit less. It was more so in the TV show about Dr. Alchemy, so that's where they made the cult very big. Okay, so let's continue. So his mission was, once he escaped, to destroy the Flash family, and the Flash family at that time was Wally West, Bart Allen, Jay Garrick, Johnny Quick, Jesse Quick, XS, and Max Mercury. And so Max Mercury actually trained the team and prepared them for Savitar's return because they knew he was going to return one day after he escaped from the Speed Force. They also did that kind of in the TV show where Savitar was stuck in the Speed Force for this whole time. That was one of the big twists. And Wally actually got dragged into the Speed Force in Season 3. So that's kind of like a twist on everything that's happened because they did incorporate the future Flash Savitar stuff with Wally, although they didn't do the Wally storyline that they did in Out of Time, but they did incorporate him and obviously in the TV show we didn't have Bart Allen at that point, we did have Wally West, but also we had Barry Allen and in the comics Savitar was a Wally West villain rather than a Barry Allen villain and so he never met Barry and Jay was there which he was in the TV show. Johnny Quick hasn't ever shown up on the TV show. Jesse Quick obviously played a part in the Savitar stuff in Season 3, which they actually never paid off. XS didn't show up until Season 5. Obviously, Savitar was defeated at the end of Season 3. And Max Mercury has never shown up 
on the TV show, so you can see that there are a lot of differences in Savitar's actual comic story, and they definitely take a more in terms of story from the future Flash storyline in the New 52. And so from here you can see there is a whole lot of differences of how they portrayed Savitar compared to his comic counterpart and how they combine the two characters, that being Future Flash from the New 52 and Savitar. So hopefully this video was interesting and it's a series that I want to continue with us delving into how the TV shows have changed from the comics to create their own unique storylines. So hopefully this video gave you guys some insights into the storylines and how potentially future Flash could show up and also some background on Savitar and how they adapted that storyline but they kind of did a mishmash of these two different characters. So thank you guys so much for watching, please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy the video. Also subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new. Remember later tonight we're going to be reviewing The Flash and it's new episode right after it airs. That will be followed by my Supergirl review for episode 2 and also my Supergirl and Flash trailer breakdowns will be coming out like a few hours after that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.